Hi there, my name is Richard Oliver and I'm the product manager for Enderholm in Sweden and I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about heat checking and in particular two tool steels which are often used to solve this problem. So on the one hand we have H13 and on the other we have our Enderholm Divar. Now often when I visit customers that don't use Divar or for other reasons which we'll go into in another uh, presentation, I can get the comment that Divar is just a fancy H13. Well, this is categorically not true, okay? And we'll just go through some brief steps to show you why this is not the case. Uh, first of all, the main failure in die casting is mainly heat checking. Some companies report even maybe 80% of uh, die failure is the heat checking phenomena. But more often than not, you have all of the failures on the die at the same time. So you have soldering, uh, you'll have some uh, erosion areas, and you'll have heat checking. But it's the dominant failure that we're talking about. And here, if you put up the chemistry of H13 and Divar together, first appearances, they don't look that different, but actually they, actually they are very different in their performance. And you can see that, and it's very, very clear. If we just take three things that you need to avoid or to resist heat checking, it's good temper back resistance, it's hot yield strength, and it's good hot strength, okay? And there we can see three very distinct differences between Divar and H13. So if we just take temper resistance as an example, you'll see if you start Divar and H13 at the same level of hardness, after 10 hours and 100 hours at a constant temperature, let's say 600 degrees C, you'll start to see a pretty significant difference between the two materials straight away. So if you are using H13 in your die casting tools at the moment, and heat checking is a major issue, then Divar is absolutely the answer to get better heat check resistance. In another video, we're gonna cover some top tips about how to get the best out of the material, but if you're just comparing the chemistries, then Divar is the clear winner. It's been a pleasure to talk to you today. Thank you very much for listening.